Hey, we're back at Willy Wonka's mansion by popular viewer request, and it is in fact a beast. I'm standing in the pool house right now, which is nearing completion of the rough-in. The electricians have just been in this week. There are some distinctives that are incredibly intentional. All through the course of this build, you're gonna see things that are unique, different, and that you have never seen before. Tim Shackleton with ElectroPro Academy here, back on a familiar job site. We've been hoping to share a little bit more of this with you. This is our temp power from a previous video. We'll link that for you in case you missed it. And we've got 11,000 square feet of home that is still not remotely up. But we do have some updates for you, come along. It's been seven weeks since we put in the temp pole and the utility has still not run power to it. So we also have not run the auxiliary panels to their two locations. However, the concrete has been poured. We're here on the garage slab and behind the camera here, all of the foundation walls have been poured and set. The forms are out and it's looking pretty crisp around here. For construction's sake, we're starting at the back of the property because all the materials need to work their way back there before there's a big old house here. So we're starting at the pool house. The hot tub is not that hot. Uh, there will be further developments in that area and the pool around is awful dry. Behind us is the pool house. It's about a thousand square feet. Uh, it'll have a beautiful outdoor living space which you can see directly behind me at this corner of the building and then inside we'll have a number of amenities as well. We're looking forward to showing that off. Tons of LVL supports on this structure in order to keep it nice and open but still have all the strength and rigidity that the structure needs. Uh, electricians, just so you know, you're not supposed to drill through these. The pool house, for being only a thousand square feet, has plenty of electrical challenges for us. The mechanical room in and of itself behind me will need to be specced out so that there's no issues in the pool outside. And then this space is essentially an apartment. We've got a kitchen or kitchenette, we've got a laundry space, we've got closet space, we've got a master bedroom with more closet and a master bath. A few impressive stats you might enjoy about this house. One, it will have a 1200 amp electrical service sitting out back behind the pool house, as well as a dedicated transformer from the utility company. Two, it will have five more electrical panels just like this. This is the Leviton Smart Capable Panel. Each breaker has toolless replacement because the individual conductors are terminated to a bus, both hots and neutrals. So every breaker is inherently a plug-on neutral. It's beautiful. In order to make it smart, it takes the insertion of a wireless gateway to communicate with the home internet system, and then you're live in the Leviton app controlling loads of every breaker that's been replaced with a smart breaker. It's a pretty nifty system, has a great aesthetic look in white, which is differentiated. First time people will be talking about electrical panels in a long time. Out here, we're essentially wearing our training wheels. This is a 900 square foot home that was being wired up for $20,000. The main house is where the magic happens. However, builders will make a selection for a contractor for a job like this on which their entire reputation hangs on the basis of the ability to staff the job adequately to keep the project moving. Two, the expert field leadership. Like Randy, who's been an electrician for over 30 years, has operated his own business and is now leading our team in the execution of this work. Attention to detail. It's gotta be beautiful. It's gotta be right the first time, no ripping out drywall later. Regardless of the complexity and the requirements to interface with other trades new technology systems. It's got to be right. In addition, the ability to be forward thinking, right? A home like this built for six, seven, eight million bucks. The last thing you want to do is come to completion and realize, oh shoot, we missed the boat. We forgot about. So my advice to you is this, a couple of things from an electrician's perspective on a modern build. One, provisional conduits. For instance, between the crawl space and the attic in the pool house, 
provide a one inch PVC provisional conduit. This home is so tech loaded. Even in the pool house, there are camera, speaker, and smart lighting solutions. Provide a vehicle for easy adaptation to future requirements. Two, a provisional conduit between the pool house and the main house. We're actually gonna have two, one for low voltage and one for power. There are gonna be some three-way switches between the two homes. In addition, we're gonna have internet here being fed from the main home. Three, the provision for electric vehicle charging systems. With well over two million EVs on the roads already in America, it's a must that every home being built today is provisioned for the future. And lastly, local on-site energy systems. There'll be a whole home backup natural gas generator in the back with a potential provision for energy storage in the main house to ensure that the office, first floor lighting, master suite, some kitchen appliances, and emergency heat never go offline. A primary form of energy, the utility grid, a secondary form of energy, home backup in the form of lithium batteries, and a tertiary form, a backup natural gas generator. Hey, thanks for joining us here at the Willy Wonka house. Thanks to Yolanis for sponsoring this video. As of today, the main house is about 40% framed up. We're gonna be back in several weeks to begin the rough in, and that's when the magic's really gonna start to happen. We have a community of electricians and business owners just like you doing projects just like this where we're working together to make real skills to make real money.